press release saw tonight, they saw that you and Caitlin have now started 138 games consecutively together. Um, it said that's the longest streak for anybody in the last 25 years. Really? Games, yeah. Uh, just tell me about what, I mean, just what it's like to know that this is your last game, that you know, know for sure you have 139 now, and uh, that this has been just four years of you guys doing this all together. Yeah, I mean, I think Gabby's probably been right around there with us too, and so it just, you know, we have that level of trust with each other, and um, I just, we have a lot of respect and, respect and admiration for one another, and she's one of my best friends, and so it's really fun to be able to do that this the last four years with her, and we've won a lot of games, and we've won a lot of championships, and so, you know, we're looking to do, one, you know, win another one, but um, it's really nice, you know, knowing each other and how we have each other's back that really helps you know stay calm and you know stay level-headed out on the court when you have someone that's been there through it all. What problems are there with defense? Um, yeah, I mean, we're physically, you know, we've got all the skills that we need to, you know, help us win the ball game tomorrow, but um, more than anything, it's a mental and emotional battle right now, and if you tell yourself you're tired, then you're tired. If you tell yourself you're not tired, you're not going to be tired, and at this point, we know we are only guaranteed 40 more minutes tomorrow, and so... You just have to give everything you've got. Uh, it doesn't matter if you've got bruises, if you're beat up at all, um, and we know that. And you just kind of have to leave it all out there, and that's what we're gonna do. It's fine. It's a little sore, but it's not broken, so whatever. Surgery pending. <laughs> Kate, how important is a strong, fast start tomorrow for you guys and your defense? Yeah, I mean, it's always really important to come out um, with a good start uh, right from the get-go. I think that really sets the tone, and I don't think we really came out with that great of a start yesterday. So, uh, you know, we don't really want to dig ourselves into any holes, but I mean, when you're playing against a team of South Carolina's caliber and how good they are, then, you know, you want to come out and you want to control from the tip, and we want to play our game and execute from the beginning. So, that's going to be really important for us tomorrow, <coughs> but we know it's not going to be a perfect game. And we know that, you know, they're going to get rebounds and, you know, things are going to happen. So really just, you know, being resilient and sticking with it, uh, that's going to be super important for tomorrow. What do you expect out of that defense? Yeah, they're a really good defensive team, and we've been playing some really good defensive teams. Uh, they're very long, they're big, they're physical. Um, we know they're going to try to get into some passing lanes, persuade some passes, uh, get tips on the balls. and. Um, yeah, I mean, we're really going to have to shift their defense as much as possible and make them play for, you know, you know, deep into the shot clock because uh, that's hard to guard. And, um, yeah, but we just have to execute Iowa. It's not a whole lot about what does South Carolina do this, what does South Carolina do that. It's going to be Iowa executing, Iowa playing, Iowa basketball. I know that, that last year's South Carolina team is, is not this year's team. It's a different team. But is there anything you guys can draw upon from last year's win over them for this year? Yeah, I, like I said earlier, I mean, they're a way different team, and so are we. And they're a way better shooting team this year than they were last year. So, you know, putting four or five people in the paint isn't really um, – an option this year kind of like we did last year so uh, we're gonna you know throw some different things at them defensively keep them on their toes but yeah I mean they're coached the same way so I don't know we can look back at that but we're not using last year's film or anything you know they're a way different team we're focusing more on their most recent games I'm sorry we're right over Yeah, I mean, I don't know if you, you know, <laughs> can be prepared for 6-7 like that, really. I mean, she is the best post in the country. She's a phenomenal player, um, and she runs the floor really well, and she's obviously huge, and we're going to have to box her out, and um, we're going to know that she's going to get some of her points. She's going to get some rebounds and not to just get discouraged in those moments because we know she's going to get hers, but trying to limit it as much as possible. But 
Um, I don't know if we played anybody that tall before, but this year. But I mean, we played against her last year, so I guess we can, you know, try our best to, you know, put a button to her and uh, get rebounds.